So there's a couple of other cleanup items we can do really quickly before we're ready to deploy this web part. And generally, whenever I'm getting ready to deploy, I go through all of the code that I've written and I look for these grayed out imports because it's just really extraneous. So uh, in, in this case, we have like the HTTP client that we had imported into our dash web part file. We can go ahead and just delete any of those unused imports to kind of clean things up just a bit. Uh, similarly, you're going to get this escape utility from the Lodash library uh, that we don't need in JSX because it kind of handles a lot of that escaping for us. Uh, so we can delete that and just kind of, in general, uh, clean up the imports in a lot of our files. Also in chart.js, uh, there is uh, this iButton props that we did not import. All right, and that's going to make things a little bit easier. Also, there's one thing uh, that I noticed here is whenever the web part first loads, uh, it would probably be nice to go ahead and load data into it if you've already selected lists. So we're actually, at this point, we're forcing users to come down and click on refresh before they can see the chart data. So let's use a React component lifecycle method to basically um, go ahead and make a request if we already have props. Uh, for our list ID and our selected fields as soon as this React component is uh, mounted to the, the page, meaning it's loaded. So all we'll have to do to fix that is we'll go into our chart.tsx component and we'll come down here and you'll see the uh, the action button down here is tied to this dot get items. This dot get items handles setting the state, uh, loading all the data, and basically doing everything for us. So all we have to do is uh, just hook into uh, public component did mount, which is just a React specific lifecycle method. It just means the component is added to your React application. It's now activated. And this is going to return void, and all we'll do in here is just run this dot get items, and that should load it as soon as the page loads. So if I now come in here and I hit refresh, uh, without even hitting the refresh button, it's going to go into that loading state and load our chart data right off the bat. If we add a fresh web part to the page, if we were to edit this and we were to select a list. Um, you kind of get this weird uh, empty chart because you haven't selected any fields yet. So maybe we can also update our dash component to uh, say if you have list ID and also if this.props.selectedField.length is truthy, truthy, meaning it has items in it. So you've actually selected a field. And then now we can come back into our component. We'll give it a refresh. And now you're going to see this select a list to continue. Even if you've selected a list, it's going to continue to say that. And then as soon as you select a field, it'll actually load the chart data with something to see, which is probably ideal in this case. Great. 